So there have been a lot of updates uh, in how we approach and characterize uh, tumors, gastroesophageal adenocarcinoma tumors in particular. We are already using a number of different biomarkers as part of standard practice. Uh, all patients with gastroesophageal adenocarcinomas uh, should have their tumors tested for microsatellite instability. This is a very important test that can predict for sensitivity to immunotherapy. And the testing for microsatellite instability can be done either via immunohistochemistry for mismatch repair proteins or NGS testing, next generation sequencing testing, or PCR for microsatellite instability specifically. And these tests are important regardless of the stage because it can really impact patients' treatments. The other test that we have used for a while is HER2 testing. We use, we look for HER2 overexpression or amplification in metastatic setting. And this is another test that we have used now for over a decade. More recently, we have incorporated PDL1 testing and we look for combined positive score in gastroesophageal adenocarcinoma, CPS, um, which can predict for response to immunotherapy. It's a tricky biomarker to use, but we have now incorporated it as part of our testing. So these are the tests that we already use in addition to you know, extensive molecular profiling that all of our patients' tumors should undergo in advanced disease. Um, but more recently, it's exciting because we are tr we are starting to uh, identify new biomarkers, especially in metastatic disease, that can predict for responses to other therapy. Uh, the biomarker that's uh, most ready from prime time is Clodin 18.2. It's a tight junction protein, which is um, overexpressed in a number of different malignancies, including gastroesophageal adenocarcinoma. And it's also present in normal um, uh, epithelial cells in um, stomach mucosa. And we now have the drug, uh, Zolbituximab. It's not approved yet, but this is an antibody that binds to a clotin 18.2. And this is uh, the drug that's been shown to have activity in patients with advanced gastroesophageal adenocarcinoma that overexpress uh, clotin 18.2. So we will have to learn how to incorporate yet additional biomarker into our practice. We will have to learn how to prioritize which treatment to give to patients if there's any overlap in the biomarker. And really another challenge is we need to make sure that we can get all the testing done quickly and that we have enough tissue to do all the testings. But it's exciting to be able to personalize care in a much uh, better way, hopefully with each, with, you know, with each subsequent year of our patients.